best render settings in Blender. Hey guys, welcome back to Spike Hi, I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at some render settings that you're going to want to know if you want to render things in Blender. Let's say that you're finished your scene here, and this is this is the whole scene. It's just, this is it. It's just default cube, and that's okay sometimes, you know, maybe, maybe you're doing something fun with default cube. You need to go ahead and render this. Now, we're going to go to the second tab here, the output properties tab, and the first thing we're going to take a look at is some of these uh, things over here. So, we have the resolution, obviously, uh, this is 1920 by 1080 full HD. You can, of course, do uh, 12, uh, 1280 720 for 720, of course, and other resolutions for other uh, uh, sizes and whatnot, but uh, you can change the frame rate here. But the biggest thing you want to take a look at is this output uh, section down here. So you can see we have this uh, file output. Um, and you can just hit this little folder and it'll open up the, um, the directory for you to go ahead and change where you want to um, save your file. So for instance, you can go ahead and save it to downloads or documents or music or pictures or photos or whatever, what have you. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get out of here now. So once you've done that, make sure you're scrolling down to file format and then change the type of file depending on what you're trying to render. So for instance, if you want to render a picture, then go ahead and leave it on PNG. Most likely it's what I would leave it on because PNGs are amazing. Um, and they have transparency, unlike JPGs or JPEGs. Um, so if you want to render a video, which is most likely what you're trying to do, let's go ahead and change this file format to FFMPEG video, as you can see, and then scroll down to encoding. And then you have a couple of options here. So you don't, don't want to really mess with color management. That's no big deal. Don't worry about that. But under encoding, let's say you're trying to render a video that needs transparency. So if you go ahead and hit render, uh, render image, you can see that the background here, it's, it's not, it's not transparent. So what we can fix that is by doing two things. We need to go ahead and make sure that we have transparency checked. So in the first tab here in the render properties tab, Make sure you scroll on down to film and then check transparency. And once that's done, you can go back to the output properties tab and scroll back down. Now, as you can see, under the color options under file format, we only have two options, which is black and white and RGB, which stands for red, green, blue, uh, which means uh, it's just basic colors that you have that we have here in the render section. So what if you want to render a video with transparency behind it instead of rendering a video like this and then seeing that it has no transparency once it's finished rendering which is unfortunate so let's go ahead and fix that real quick now let's go ahead and uh, go down to Matroska and change this from Matroska to QuickTime and then go to uh, video Kodak and change this to FFMPEG video Kodak number one and then make sure you can see that now we have a third option here which is RGBA now, when this renders, it's gonna look exactly the same because it it doesn't it didn't finish yet. But if before we did that, before we added the RGBA option, it looked transparent. But once it was finished rendering, it would actually have been um, black behind here. But now that we have the A option, so RGBA, um, red, green, blue, alpha, alpha is now letting us be able to um, have that transparency behind the cube. So. Nice. We've done with. We're done with that. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is uh, is audio down here. So audio is um, obviously really important if you're using audio in your scene, which most of the time people usually don't. But let's say you're doing some kind of a music visualizer and you've added the music and you don't want to re-add it in another video um, editing application. Um, so what we can do is we can make sure that instead of having this on no audio, we can go ahead and put this to MP3 or FLAC or AAC. Um, and my recommendation is either do MP3 or um, or most likely flag, but I'll just stick with MP3 most of the time. So we can put that on MP3 right there. And then of course you have the standard sample rate. You just leave all this stuff the same. Um, it's perfectly fine the way that it is. Now, the biggest ones you're gonna wanna keep in mind is of course just MP, uh, MPEG4, which is MP4, um, and then QuickTime, and then of course uh, Matroska if you're uh, looking for an MKV file or uh, something uh, in, in that wave. But QuickTime, FMPEG video codec number one, and then RGBA is the uh, is the nicest way to get um, transparent background in videos, which is great for motion graphics or overlay graphics or some sort of thing like that. But um, but yeah, that's basically all of the render information you're gonna need to know. You can change the uh, frame rate here, um, but keep in mind this is gonna speed up or slow down your animation depending on what frame rate you have this on. So keep that in mind. You can change the in frame here as well. But uh, but yeah, that's basically all that there is right there. Super, super simple stuff. 
people have been asking me to redo this video make another one of these because we've done one of these in the past a long time ago hope you guys enjoyed it um i will see you girls and guys in the next video but until then bye bye